any George who gang up with them to bring Nigeria down, Nemesis will catch up with them. I, your daily, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The founder of and general overseer of the NIRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodele, in a recent video on his church Facebook page, shared a message with the public. And revealing what will happen to any Georgia gangs up with them to bring Nigeria down. I want to send this message to the Supreme and appeal court judges that Nigeria split a lot of hope in them. The cleric reportedly said during his speech. However, if any judge supports them in bringing Nigeria down, Nemesis will find them. They will also observe God's wrath. On that point, I encourage all Nigerian and judges to follow the example of the Abia State Professor. As a consequence, they will receive God's peace. Otherwise, they will be subjected to God's vengeance. Well, uh, I don't know why he's playing to the gallery. And this is message. If you, in one way... I don't know who he's referring to now. I don't think he's speaking aside. And this is why I prefer people to I prefer people to come out and give their own two cents rather than come out to say God will do this. In fact, at this one I like this particular kind of message. Speaking in parables and not having God said or God told me or God revealed to me or it's a prophecy. Uh uh. Come outside as a Nigerian, you have your own right to, you know, to express yourself, to give your two cents, because, of course, you're a citizen. If a foreigner can come and naturalize and, you know, have a say in one or two things concerning this particular country, then why not you, the citizen? Okay. I don't know if this man is a prophet, Abi. <laughs> Babala wo ah. The man talked too much. God does not reveal things like that, Mr. Prophet. Well, he didn't say reveal this one. Nigeria has spoken one voice against looters imposing themselves on Nigerians by ruling party rigging out other Nigerians. My dear, that's why I'm saying this is no longer a fight of for Labour Party. It is rather a fight for Nigerians. Hmm? You are right to an extent. All the noises, protests and campaigns of the election are sentimental attempts to force the judges to give verdict in their favor. The candidates that won elections already rested in their various homes. The bloody leaders are going from one media house to another. Constitutes themselves into nuisances on the streets. Disturbing the peace of the public. Are you really serious? <laughs> so, you are trying to come out to tell us that the people who won the election are sleeping in their houses. So, who exactly is sleeping? I'm sorry, you, because make it make sense to me. The APC have been going from one place to another. You know, they said, if you are not, if you are not, um, if you are not, um, satisfied with the, with the judgment, you know, if you're not satisfied with the result, go to court. And, you know, this Labour Party, the opposition, they went to court. The opposition as the Labour Party and the PDP. They actually went to court. You know? And after going to court, people, their PC has been restless. Kenya Mo, Fani, Kayo, Deo, you know, name them, they have been restless. In fact, allow me or permit me to say they have been the one popping from one place to another. The most recent of their findings in order just to frustrate the, uh, what's it called? The opposition. What did they do? They went as far to uh, call an expert to dig in, to listen to private calls. Tell me, who is being restless here? As in, you are listening to private calls of the opposition party member. Come on now. How petty can you go? How low can you descend? He's a, poli he's a spiritual political contractor and should stop causing God's anointed one. Else, the God nemesis is far greater than forcing leadership allocation. One thing I'm sure is that this year is the year of God's wrath on all corrupt leaders that have brought Nigeria to shame in the, com in the committee of nations. One sweet thing about this God is he cannot be bribed. Justice and equity are in his creed. Yes, so that is just our own joy. Eh? You cannot bribe God. Okay. Who are the we and the them? Exactly, he's speaking in parables. They don't even understand their religion. That is why all of them are misbehaving. You're expecting someone to come and beg you for prayer. Really? I don't think he does. But if he does, if he's expecting someone to come and beg him, I don't think this is the kind of prophecy he's going to be dropping. All right. This man that said PDP will rule Nigeria again. Where is the prophecy? Exactly. That is why I keep saying 
you come outside, give your own two cents. Let it be from your own angle so that if you don't work, not see you, you get. That's what black men in a respected judges. You cannot call them to declare your candidate the winner. Leave them alone and allow them to do their job. They cannot be intimidated by anybody to help any help any litigants to claim the money that was given to them by majority of Nigerians. That's living be the height of ungodliness. Start quoting from the Bible. Stop relying on the on your emotions. Give God his due respect, please. Okay, yes, of course, but fake pastor receives severe judgment for lying in his name. Hmm. Political prophet has come again. No nemesis will catch up with anyone giving false prophecy against Nigerians. Well, this is why I keep telling us to trust. Permit me to say trust our, our intuition. There are times where, you know, your intuition tells you things and you come outside and you actually say it. Okay, your course will never work because profits made as a result will find a way into your church as offerings. I don't think it's costing anything. I don't think this is actually a cost. But truly, truly, if you don't do the right thing, there are laws already for you where we say you know the right and you know do one, and you're coming out to say they are costing you. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.